Kings. It is Nappy Food all up on your screen. And today is a nut chat video. I wanna talk about my 20s, y'all. I don't know if you 30 something year olds be going through this. There are just some things that when I think to myself, had I started in my 20s, it would be a lot easier right now. I think it would be a lot easier right now. You know what I'm saying? So today I wanna get into a few habits, a few routines I wish I had began back then when they didn't know me. But now that I'm hot and I'm just joking. <laughs> I wish I had started back then as opposed to now. Let's get into it. Every full checking in. Lego. This week I was inspired by the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. You should each give then as you have decided, not with regret or out of a sense of duty, for God loves the one who gives gladly. Amen. it reaps benefits. And when you don't have good habits in place, I mean, must I say more? Today, I wanna to talk about habits I wish I had started in my 20s. I feel like if I started in my 20s, <laughs> I'll be singing a different song right now, or maybe I'll be singing the same song, but on a better tune, okay? Making better financial decisions. Had I invested my money in my 20s, I'll be reaping some of that now, you feel me? Had I known about Bitcoin, oh my God, in my quantities, I would have been cashing out with those people who had hit a million dollars a few years ago. Okay, I'm just saying. But I didn't. You know why? Because in my 20s, I was more focused on hot chips. Mmm, hot Cheetos. I wish I had invested my, more of my money. Yep, stocks, bonds, products, online sales, digital products, all that kind of great stuff. I wish I had started or developed the rich dad, poor dad mentality. If you haven't read that book, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Please do yourself a favor and read that book. I'll put the link in the description box below. I wish I would have found the many ways I could have invested my money and done it. Oh, it would have been totally different. Had I known how to make my money work for me as opposed to working for my money, I would have a more healthier relationship with money. I would have known a lot more things than I know right now. I would have been able to be sitting pretty and you won't even be able to tell. I would have understood the importance of not looking like you actually have money. You don't need to go buy these big cars, fancy cars, spin this and, and have hydraulics and the best sound system in your life. That actually don't show that you have money. <laughs> that just shows like the flaunt. That's all. But money is silent. That's what it is. I feel like money is a, is a very quiet thing. And I was trying to make it loud in my 20s. And so because of that, I mainly live from check to check. But now in my 30s. I'm not saying I'm a billionaire or anything like that, but I know the importance of not making your money be too loud. And I know the importance of your money working for you, like as an assistant, as opposed to you working for your money. Something that I just recently came across, but I wish I understood it in my 20s. So there's this thing called the 80-20 rule. Normally that's applied to productivity, but I'm applying it to life. So I've been watching this class on Skillshare by this teacher called Michelle B. So I had to really think about what she said when she said 80% causes, 80% effects comes from 20% causes. And the way that I understood that was 20% of what I do, whether good or bad, will reap an 80% effect. That's how I saw it. So applying that to my 20 year old self, I wish I understood the power of my actions, the importance of my actions. What, what was this? The importance of my actions. Uh, 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 uh. Let me tell you something. Listen to me now. 20% of what you do will give you an 80% effect on life. Do you want a good effect or do you want a bad effect? Well, it comes from the 20% cup game stuff. <laughs> our actions in our 20s, being young and dumb is not an excuse that anybody should use, in my opinion, because everything is a choice. You feel me? Yes, you still discover yourself in your 20s. But the fact that there's a lot of 20-something-year-olds who are making wise decisions because they choose to, doesn't excuse you not choosing to. You feel me? Didn't excuse me not choosing to make right decisions, okay? I made bad decisions. My actions, I felt, was a effect of how I was raised or how this or how that. No, it's all on me. So 80% of what I went through came from the 20% of decisions that I made that led it to that type of effect. One bonus habit is something that Michelle, again, from this class calls creating value. I don't think I attached value to a lot of stuff that I did in, 20, in my 20s. I just did it because I felt like. Imagine doing something and adding value to it. I feel like you will look at it very differently. Do I want to just BS it away? Do I want to just waste it? Nah, 
When something is valuable in your life, you treat it differently. When something's invaluable, you be like, whatever, right? There is so much in her class that I feel like a 20-something, even a 30-something, even a 60-something-year-old could can benefit from. So with that being said, let's talk about today's sponsors, Skillshare. Y'all have heard me talk about Skillshare before in previous videos, and yes, your girl is still watching those videos, okay? I'm telling you, the way that these classes are taught, there's no way you can't gain from it. I'm just saying. It is an online learning community where there's lots and lots of people that come together in order to take the next step in their journey, whether it be a creative journey, financial journey, self-care journey, whatever journey, you're going to find a topic that will speak to what your goal is, okay? Now you'll see these different classes of different people teaching it, but most of them are not even teachers, y'all. These are basically fellow creatives who, who are passionate about a topic so much that they are giving you entire premium class about it, okay? And some of them even offer workshops. Girl, no ads. So therefore you watching straight content, no interruption. I'm sorry, where they do that at? On Skillshare, okay? I've been watching videos from editing, to self-care, to finances, to building your confidence, to becoming more organized and more productive, and all these different topics that speak to me and where I am in life right now and where I want to go. And I believe it can speak to you too. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers, hey Team Kinks, that click on the link in the description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare. Do you know how much you can learn in one month? Quite a bit. So go ahead and click on that link, sign up today, Get to learning while you're quarantining. You might as well come out with many new skills, okay? Reading. Yes, hello. Hi, my name is a book. I wish I had picked that up a lot more willingly. And now I'm not talking about like, because I went to college. Those are books I had to read. I didn't take any what pleasure out of it. But had I done more leisure reading, when you read, your mind is stimulated a lot more than it will ever be with watching TV. A lot more, okay? So I wish I had one either read more books or did more audiobooks. Listen to the book. Either way, let that info get into my brain. You know why I wish I had did that more in my 20s? And my mind was a lot younger then, right? It would have been able to retain a lot more stuff. As opposed to now, in my 30s, when I have to read stuff like 20 times again, just to remember. On the 21st time, I'm still like, wait, oh, the last part? Oh, yeah, I'm just saying, I think it's really true. As you get older, if you don't train your mind, you lose some capabilities, seriously. Things start to get slower and more of ch more challenging for you. So stimulate your mind while it's young, you feel me? Because you will reap the benefits of that when you get older. So I wish I had read more books. I wish I studied the word of God a lot more. I wish I had made it more of a habit to read my Bible daily. Because now in my thirties, when I have all this, all the distractions going on, I find it a little challenging to daily read my Bible. And when I mean daily, I don't mean just one verse. I mean actually study a chapter. You know, Psalms 191, the entire chapter. Matthew 18, the entire chapter. Not just one, two verses to be like, I read my Bible. No, study that sucker like God wants us to, you feel me? I wish I had read more financial books. Like if I had read, I don't know if Rich Dad, Poor Dad was out during that time, but if I had read Rich Dad, Poor Dad in my 20s, ah, we'll go back to tip number one. Financially, this girl would have been on a whole different level. Okay, I'm just saying. But I read in my 30s and I'm happy I did I wish I had took my health more seriously. Yeah, I made some very unhealthy choices, y'all. Like things that I pray does not affect my body. You know, like when I discovered alcohol, I didn't know my limits. I drank too much, you feel me? I've tried a cigarette before. I've tried the green stuff before. Okay, I don't know if YouTube will ding me if I say the actual word, but I tried that stuff before. You know, following a crowd. I'm not gonna say following a crowd. That's one of the typical excuses we get. At the end of the day, it was my decision, so. I decided to do all that stuff. Cause why? I don't know. Being young and dumb, if I would have known the effects that it can have on my body in the long run, I wouldn't have done none of that, like zero, okay? So I would have instead fed my body things that actually feed it, things that actually encourage it, things that actually tells it that I love it. I would have developed my love for exercising a lot earlier too. I love exercising. In my 30s, it's, it's bomb. In my 20s, I wasn't really about that life. I would exercise here and there, but I don't. I wasn't looking forward to it like the way I do now. Like every weekend when I'm not working out, I'm like, cool, I look forward to Monday when I have to work out again. Cause I need, you know, you need your days off and stuff like that. I wish I had ate more fruits, more vegetables on a regular basis. I wish I had made it more of a habit for myself 
in the, my 20s as opposed to trying to make it now in my 30s. You feel me? You become so used to doing the wrong things. It's always challenging when you're unlearning the wrong things that you're trying to make right and you're learning the right things, you know? And you're right and you're learning the actual things you should have made right. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the next would be my career choice. Now I'm in healthcare IT and social media. In my 20s, I wish I had researched the many different fields I could have gone into. A lot of times in our 20s, we don't really know what we want to, what we want to do. <laughs> we really don't. We don't know what stability really feels like or what it looks like. Since we don't know what we want to do for ourselves and our parents are already conflicted because they already have in their mind what they want us to do, a lot of people choose career paths that if they had known about another option at that 20 something year old age, they probably would have took it. Yeah, you might be happy that you chose to be a doctor or you chose to be a teacher or you chose to be a principal or you chose to be a fashion designer or whatever be the situation. However, there are also people that, oh, if I knew about this kind of field when I was younger, I, I would have studied this, right? I know that was me. I'm in healthcare IT now, but had I known that this could be a very good field as well, I would have spent my time with this field instead of spending time trying to be a pharmacist or a doctor or a nurse or so on. I'm not saying that I regret that, but do I think I wasted a little bit of my college years? Yeah, yeah, I did, did. But it's okay. So yes, in my 20s, I wish I had researched stuff a lot better and really just really asked myself, what is it that I wanna do? And if there's something that I'm being pressured to do or being encouraged, my dad would say, I am encouraging you, encouraged to do. I wish I would have followed someone who's already doing it. You know, a day in the life of a pharmacist. That was the field I would have gone in had my um, parents had their way. Um, or the day in the life of a lawyer, the day in the life of an engineer, the day in the life of a nurse or so on. That would have definitely helped me to do, discover what I wanted to do. But I will say for me, I had a little bit of an idea because I knew I wanted to be in healthcare. I wasn't sure if I wanted to be in the business side of it, the clinical side of it, or now the IT side of it. I wish I took more advantage of the advantages around me. Mm -hmm. Being born and raised in America, coming from an immigrant family, right? My parents were born and raised in Naja. My brothers are from Canada. I was the only one born and raised here. I did not take advantage of the advantages that were around me being born and raised in America. One thing that pops out to me, school. Y'all, when I say I slept on grants and scholarships, I slept. I'm talking about snored. Had I just put in more effort to look into all of the grants, all of the scholarships that were available to me at that time, I would have had a free education too, because I got two degrees. So I would have had a free bachelor's, a free master's, had I just put more effort. But because loans is so accessible, and that is what's pushed to us the most, well, that was what was pushed to me the most, that's what I took. And now I'm here paying a lot more back than what I actually took out. <laughs> hey, I lost. Uh. Hey, look. Okay, give me a moment. I'm paying back too much, but it's lesson learned. My children will not go through this. Trust God from my mouth to your ears. My children will not take a loan for nothing. In Jesus' name, okay? If I had I took advantage of the stuff that's op that I'm opportune to because I'm born and raised here, there's a lot of things that would have been different. There are so many advantages and opportunities that's around us. And if we are always looking for just an easier or more fun way of doing things, you might feel the effects of that later on in life. And the last habit I wish I had known, I wish I started in my 20s, was speaking positively over myself. Being mindful of the words that I say. Just because I might say I was just joking doesn't mean it did not make an impact. Honestly, there is power in our words. You know the old saying, sticks and stone may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Lies. Huh? Very much a lie. Words do hurt. Words do affect. People remember what you say. People remember what you do too. It all matters. So be mindful of the stuff you say. Even if you think it's a joke, think about it again before you let it leave from your mouth. So now when I talk, when I'm around my friends, when I have a thought or any of that, I don't say it immediately. I no longer just blurt it out. I no longer think being blunt is okay. It's not. I try to be very mindful of how I deliver messages to people. Most importantly, I try to deliver in a way that I will want it delivered to me because I understand that how you take things does matter. Even if I didn't mean for it to be taken in that way, you took it in a way. I have to apologize. I could have said it in a different way. I could have said it better. You feel me? I mean, because in my 20s, you know, I, 
I just spoke to people in ways that caused us to stop being friends. Honestly, to this day, to this day, I'm very surprised I haven't gotten into a fist fight. I mean, was my mouth that bad? Yeah, my mouth was bad. My mouth, my mouth was lethal, okay? I can just slice you with my words. We thank God for God, okay? Because I'm not like that anymore. I think before I talk, and I don't see it as being fake. I don't see it as being somebody who I'm not. I see it as considering the other person's feelings. I see it as putting that other person first. I understand it, and I understand it more and more and more. My words can build someone up, or it can absolutely tear them the hell down, and I don't even know. Because some people don't even, don't even express you how your words make them feel. There is it's such a bad feeling when someone who you care about reveals to you later on how what you said to them affected them. And you be like, why didn't you tell me then? And they tell you something like, well, I didn't think it was a big deal or I didn't feel comfortable telling you. Let me tell y'all something. If you ever said to yourself, well, that's not my fault you didn't feel like telling me, it's your fault. It's your fault. Because they probably don't feel comfortable telling you because of how you are or, be how, or because of how you handle things or because of how you don't handle things. You feel me? It matters. The mark I want to leave on this world is definitely not one of somebody who didn't care about how you feel or who didn't care about how she said things to people. I want to care about it because I care about your feelings. Anyway, this can be a very, very deep conversation. So let's just chill right there. Those are habits I'm doing better now. So in true form and fashion, let's go through it one more time. These are the habits I wish I had started in my 20s. I wish I read more books, more of the Bible, self-help books, more financial books, fiction, nonfiction. I wish I had did things that stimulated my eyes and my mind, as opposed to just watching TV, which most times only stimulated my eyes. I wish I took my health a lot more seriously. I wish I understood the importance of eating fruits and vegetables and not just took it as something people just say, or not just took it for granted because I hear it all the time. I wish I actually listened and applied, okay? Listened and applied. Listened and applied. That can go to a lot more areas in life than just food. Career choices. Although I love what I do now, I could have got here a long time ago. <laughs> I'm just saying. So in my 20s, I wish I had researched things a lot thoroughly. I wish I had heard about a career and actually broke it all the way down. I wish I had followed someone in their career a day in the life of so I can get a feel how it might be and then made a wise decision from there. Invest in my money. Mm -hmm, girl, I wish back in my 20s, I had more understanding of how to make money work for me as opposed to me working for the money, okay? Working for the money ain't funny, honey. 80-20 rule of life. I wish I knew how 80% of the effects that I experience every day is from the 20% of what I do. And there you have it, y'all. I hope you liked it. Those are just a few habits I wish I had started sooner in my 20s. I do feel like it would've made a difference in my 30s now. But it's not to say that I regret anything, even though the title might say regret, but you know, keywords, keywords is all it is. But I don't regret not doing those things. I don't regret anything I have done in the past, even the bad stuff, even the stuff that got me in real trouble. Because who I am today, I'm happy with. Thank you. And now we have come to today's Snapchat question. I wanna know from y'all Team Kings, what are some habits you wish you started sooner in your 20s, okay? Let us know in the comment box below. Trust me. Your response will definitely help another kink out. Thanks in advance. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and help your girl out by hitting that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell right next to it so you can be notified the next time that I am all up on your screen. Also, if you're bored during the week, come on and hang out with me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all of that, all, all, all of that. And I will catch you on the next one. Until then, remember my sister, my cousin, my friends, T Kinks. Wow, I can't just ever do that in a regular way. In order to have healthy mind, body, soul, everything, you got to do healthy things consistently, my sister. Consistently, my brother. And before you checking out, deuces. <laughs> Minnie told me my hair is hanging out this whole time. Y'all just let me talk. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, it's all right. Don't apologize. What you can do to make up for it is subscribe. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, you already at the end of the video. Y'all still hanging out listening to me. Ah, doing Team Kings now. Subscribe and Go ahead and watch some more videos. There's plenty. Too much. Too much sauce. Too much juice. Hey. Too much juice. Too much sauce. Hey. <laughs>